Well, good after evening, noon. Here I am at the Okotoks Erratic, uh, just getting set up. I have strung out my antenna thanks to a drive-on mast mount and a push-up flagpole from flagpoles to gocom and the VE6 VID and Fed Half Wave. Thank you, Malin. You rock and it's uh, tethered out to a tree, so let's take a peek and see what that all looks like. So here's the truck end of the mast. That's our G174 feed line. There's the top end of the mast, and the antenna wire comes off towards me, which you might not be able to make out in this picture because of the bright sky, but let's go see the, what the other end looks like now. And here is the other end. The string on the end of this is exactly long enough for me to kind of hold it in place with a bit of shock cord and of course it uh, oops goes all the way over there to uh, the truck which you can see in the distance there it is nice and easy setup well my antenna is set up and I am incredibly impressed at how well tuned it is thank you Malin your antennas rock. Take a peek at uh, this chart as I'm talking here and you can see it dips in all of the right places. It's roughly 60 feet long and it's uh, super lightweight and great. All right I got a clear frequency and I call QRL once. Today I'm rocking my Palm Pico paddle which is an awesome piece of gear. Nobody is answering me on this frequency, 14058.5. I'm at CA6094, uh, CWQR as 13 word per minute.
Hey Dad, thanks. Thanks for instilling a love of electronics into us. Thanks for your patience in teaching. Miss you a lot. 73.